Good morning, everyone. So, just got ready. I haven't gotten ready in forever. Like, I actually done my makeup. I didn't do my hair, so I didn't go that crazy. But uh, I have this, like, white um, bralette, and then I have this sheer floral top, and then some uh, distressed, light blue washed jeans. And I'm gonna throw on a jacket because it's really cloudy and gloomy outside. It looks so icky. But uh, yeah, so Kelly and I are gonna go eat. Emily went home for the weekend because it's Mother's Day, so sad. But Kelly and I were gonna get some food, so. Oh, we're matchy! Cool. But yeah. Hey everyone, so now we're at Soul Sausage, and y'all know I love this place. It's down in the hotel, it's really, really good. We're actually not eating, eating here today. Kelvin is just ordering, he wants to try one of the um, like deep fried um, like rice balls, so he's doing that, and you all know, every time I get here, it's either the spicy pork or the KFC, those two are super, super good. But we're actually gonna go eat somewhere else, but of course, since we're here, Kelvin's like, we gotta stop by, so we have to stop by and get something. But it's really, really good if you're ever in Sautel, like, um, kind of near, like, Santa Monica and, like, UCLA. It's really, really, really good. So every single time, yeah, I used to come here and, like, go to Santa Monica and always stop by here. So, definitely check it out. It's really good. We're ready to go to Osaka. But, just gonna chill here and we're filming this food and then we'll go to a uh, restaurant. So that's what we're actually gonna eat, so. Uh, Alright, so Kelvin has his what's this one? Osaka. Yeah. So it's a Japanese, right? Japanese like curry rice ball. Alright, he's got some sauce. Let's do this. Am I supposed to like cut this open? Yeah, you can bite it, but it's really hot, so it's up to you. Oh. Yeah, so you got that curry rice in there. Got some potatoes, smells very fragrant. Oh. And it's drowning in sauce. Okay. Amazing, amazing. This went better in my head. Yeah. Did it? All right, all right. Go for it. Don't burn yourself. That's that. What are we thinking? <laughs> all right, there you go. Kelvin's verdict. Mm. Okay, everyone, so we're in this place called Kimikatsu. Uh, if you remember, like, like probably like a month or two ago, me and my friend Anthony went here, and it was really, really good. So I'm taking Kelvin here so you can try it. So it's pretty, pretty good. So once the food comes out, I'll vlog it. I literally got the same thing I got last time, which is the egg bowl along with the takoyaki. So, yeah. So we got the little cabbage bit, or salad thing going. And then we have the takoyaki. Yum! So good. All right, what did you think of the takoyaki? It was good. It was good. Well, it was good. We cleaned it real quick. So, yeah. Very saucy. Mm -hmm. very it was very saucy. saucy. So now we're waiting for the um, the actual egg dishes. Yum. Here it is. Like I said, it's super super delicious. There are a few like rice dishes that like I will like rave about and really love. Like I love duck with rice, but this is definitely one of them. So you have a really nice like fluffy soy scrambled egg with the nice 25 layer um, pork katsu. You have some soy and you have the rice under. Super, super good. And then you have a little miso soup right here. Super yummy. And then yeah, so my thumb is still, still banded up from yesterday, but yeah. Wait, I wanna see Kelvin's reaction take it for butt. You can use, yeah, your top six or you can use this spoon. The spoon is very helpful. All right, I wanna see this reaction. Katsu. Well, okay. I mean, I guess that's a that's a yes. Hold on. I approve. All right. That's good. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, but no, it's it's really really delicious. So yeah, let's go. So we finished off with kimikatsu. It was really good. Of course, I couldn't finish it just like last time. I don't know why. I, it's so good. And I forced myself, like right now, I'm in physical anguish and pain, but in like the best way because I ate too much food. But um, so we walk outside and there's a food truck. And it's a dessert food truck and we we're just gonna get dessert. I was like, ah! So um, this is, it's called Sweet Amsterdam. So it's like traditional Amsterdam uh, or like Dutch. Um, 
desserts. So there's like a stroke waffle, which is like a gold. Oh, hold on, you can't even see the lighting. Okay. So it's like a Dutch waffle with like um, buttery caramel and spice. And then they have their puffer chips, which are like mini puff can pancakes. So I actually know I have some Dutch viewers because a lot of you commented before. So uh, should we try this? I know like by the time this video is up, like it's a little too late, but like it looks good. So. Tell me if you have these in like the Netherlands. I know I do have some I Netherlands I think we have to. I think we have to too. This but like what to get? Country. Where Yellow Claw is from. This is from their hometown. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if we go that far, but like So we gotta have one of these. You know which one we should have. We should have the waffle or the puffer chest. So we'll see. But I'll keep you all posted on vlog once we have it and stuff. Okay, so here it is. So we ended up getting the uh, puffer chest. Puffer, puffer chest. Yeah, uh, it looks so good. So yeah, they're mini. Uh, okay, so they're authentic Dutch puffy mini can cakes, pancakes. Um, they look so good. So we got the powdered sugar, whipped cream, strawberries, and fresh berries. So yum. Get a cart because uh, this Japanese supermarket has Kelvin going. But um, we finished the desserts. They were so good. We we inhaled that. Like we just ate it so quickly. It was so delicious. They have yeah. So they have a little for two. Oh yeah. So we're at the Japanese little supermarket now. We're getting a cart because uh, Kelvin definitely is gonna need this cart. He's really excited. This is what he was like. Yeah, I'm kind of more excited for this than I was all the food that we've eaten, which to me is like unlawful, but. But yeah, so he's got this stuff, uh, got some beverages. It's a little market, so. Have you tried this? I actually Kelpico? don't think so. You don't know what Kelpico is? I know what it is, but I don't think, I don't, like, I don't, I can't remember trying no, 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 no. it. Okay, did you get like a dented one? Oh no, you didn't. Okay, but yeah, so. Okay, they have so many types of Pocky. Look at this. And there's also sushi over here. Look at all this. Yum. This looks great. Then they go to a Japanese supermarket. Yeah, and then you have like, look, little meals now. Like with chicken and fish and noodles and curry. Look how cute this is. They're gonna have mochi. So, what? Alright, they have mochi. Let's go find it. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time in a Japanese supermarket, and there's so much like ready to go food which i did not expect that so like look at all this there's just everything's like pre-packed it's ready to oh excuse me go and this you have like pudding and like mousse cupcakes um cream puddings and i have no idea but this all looks delicious yum okay you guys i think i just had a really good idea i think i'm gonna just buy a bunch of japanese snacks and do a trying japanese snacks video on my main channel with kelvin I mean, okay. Does that sound like good? No, a lot of people do that. One of my friends, she actually recently just did one. Um, right, trying Japanese. So yeah, there's that. So are we looking for like the weirdest things? Yeah, we're gonna look for some. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm down. So let's look for some really weird stuff and some like really good stuff like this. What is chocolate? Kit Kat. What is chocolate? What? I don't know. Dark chocolate? I have no idea. I mean, that's just chocolate. But there's how, like how a, weird can you, we need look, to find, like, there's Easter. We need to find like a. All right, well we're like gonna squid tentacles or something. Okay, I'm down. So we're gonna look for we're gonna look around for some really cool snacks, and me and Calvin will do a video for my main channel about it. So. <laughs> so okay, yeah, I'll vlog as we go through the supermarket looking for snacks. Okay, everyone. So we're in another candy aisle. There's like Oreo stuff. More Oreos over here. Kit Kat. So many different brands. So we're looking at everything. Trying to choose what to do for our video. I love how this is such a spur of the moment thing, but I love it. This is so good. But um, Kelvin's looking this up. That's like, um, but so far we have like this cool polar bear candy with like this like it's like this white little puff ball. I mean, we're, I mean, I think it's chocolate, green tea, Kit Kats, whatever this is, sour lemon, um, sour high chew, whatever this. Po I don't even know what this is. This is Pokemon candy. I saw Pokemon, and then this milk candy what we have so far. Hey, do y'all remember in the summertime when me and Milena went shopping at like Asian supermarkets? So we talked about how we love Asian marketing in regards to they literally slap a picture of whatever it is onto the box. Like barbecue flavored chips, there's barbecue ribs <laughs> on the packaging. It's so funny, but I love it. Like we love it. Like we're not like, it's funny, but like we're not it's really like, yeah, like there's corn. That's, corn that's on corn. Cheetos. Yeah, like we're not making fun of it. 
it's just so funny that like it's like these? stock pictures of like shrimp or like chicken the best one was a chicken one it was like chicken flavored chips and they had like a rotisserie chicken on the packaging it was great but oh love but yeah i can't find anything else that's like really cool like that but like sriracha popcorn but so we're still looking for some crazy stuff but it's actually harder to find since like me and Kelvin are both asian like we've had a lot of this stuff before but a lot of people who usually do these videos are like not of Asian descent, so it's weird for them. But most of the stuff is pretty normal to us, so. Yeah. yeah. Hey everyone, so it's 8.45 now. I'm just doing a lot of work. Um, I'm taking care of some paperwork for my summer Thailand trip with UCLA um, for a conference. And I'm uploading a video right now to my main channel. And it's, well, by the time this vlog is up, the video will be live, so definitely check it out. But it's a collective haul video I did like over the summer that I never uploaded. So I was like, okay, well, I haven't uploaded well. I'm just going to throw this in here. Um, but yeah, it's a collective haul from a Victoria's Secret, Ulta, Mac, Target, um, Topshop, and like a couple other places. So if you want to check that out, that'll be on my main channel. Um, also, some exciting news. I'm filming at Ipsy Studios. Again, some really exciting videos on um, Monday. So... If you have any video requests, comment down below. I know for sure I want to do, I'm going to do a dorm tour soon, but you can see our dorm's so messy. So I got, we got to, me and Emily got to clean this up, which we'll do soon. But uh, I'm going to do a sorority, like, video experience and, like, recruitment um, information experience for, like, UCLA. I'm going to do those. As well as, like, a UCLA meal plan and a UCLA, like, dining, or no, a UCLA, like, dorm buildings, like, explained type video. So those are the things I'm going to do. FC Studios, and I want to do some beauty and fashion stuff, and maybe some other stuff. But comment down below some things you're interested in. Um, we also have all, I have all the snacks here that uh, Kelvin and I bought today for a trying Japanese candies video. So we're gonna do that soon. We also do the Bean Boozle challenge with Emily soon. And, like, there's just so much stuff that I have to do really soon. So, but it will be really good. So. Yeah, I hope you all are excited for all the things that are coming as I am. I also have my panels on Tuesday. Oh, and my birthday is next Friday. Like, my birthday is on May 13th, Friday 13th. It's, like, always on Friday 13th. Um, but I'm not superstitious about it. 13 is my lucky and favorite number, so I love it. But, um, yeah, there's just so much that's happening. It's so crazy to me. And then I have a midterm Thursday, so, like, just this week is going to be crazy. Yeah, so I'm going to get to doing more work. I got to do paperwork stuff. got to, like plan out my flights, respond to emails, and then do lots of homework, and then later I'm going to do laundry. As you can see my big laundry basket is filled, so gotta do that. But yeah, so I'll vlog later. Okay everyone, so it's 11.30 now, and I know that um, I'm still going to stay out probably till like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, just because I slept a lot today, I napped. Um, and I slept a lot last night, so I'm probably just gonna stay up to do some work or like make up for that time. So yeah, I still haven't done laundry, so I still gotta do that in a little bit, but I'll just bring all that down later. Um, but I'm just gonna keep on doing some work in my room, and yeah, so a lot of, I'm just really preparing for this week. This week is gonna be amazing, um, with like shooting at Ipsy Studios again, um, working, uh, like having my panel, and then also just doing a bunch of other um, really exciting things, so I'm really excited. Sorry, I'm just really tired, but I'm okay. I'm not I'm not physically tired. I'm like mentally tired like exhausted kind of like drained um, It's just a lot has happened in this previous week, and I'm just trying to like go like kind of I guess sift through all of that and then start um, this next week because this next week is going to be epic So I'm super excited for that um, but I might go, I checked all the times, and the one bad thing about UCLA is the gyms, um, they don't open as late as they do at UCSD. At UCSD, our gym was open till like, 2 o'clock in the morning, which is, like, great, because, like, now it's 11.30, and I kind of just want to work out, or I just want to go on a run. Um, so I might just go on a run or do something like that in a bit, so I'll probably do that at, like, 12 or something. I just need to clear my head and get, get all that going. But I'm just gonna end this vlog here and I'll just upload it so you guys can have it uh, and watch it and all that jazz. So thank you all so much for all your support, your love. Um, I'm constantly Snapchatting you all, talking to you on Instagram. Like, thank you so much for being such a huge part of my life. And you all keep me going. So thank you so much. And I hope that I can do the same for you all. So um, yeah, just contact me through social media if you ever need anything. I am here for you. The Infinity family is here for each other. And I am working on our um, family Instagram, the Cindy's Infinities Instagram account where we can like talk and like support each other and do all that jazz. I will work on that and I'll announce more stuff with that coming soon. 
But okay, sorry if this ends a little rant, but I love you all so much and I'll talk to you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.